Hey, this is Jeff, and we are here with USP Pro. In this video, we will look at how to create a user registration form to enable users to register with your site from the front end. So here we have USP Pro installed and activated. So we are ready to go. We can now click to USP Forms, and this is where all of our forms live. For example, all of the demo forms that are included with USP Pro are listed here, and any new forms that we create also will be listed on the USP Forms screen. Now, for a registration form, the easiest way to get started is to simply use the user registration demo. So we can click into that, and we see that this form is a complete registration form that provides a description some fields, and some custom fields. And here is the key to a registration form, this hidden field right here, with the value of USP is register. Now this is required for any form to be a registration form. The custom fields and some of these other fields are optional, as we'll see here in a moment. So let's say we want to display this registration form on the front end. We first click Publish, and then we can copy its shortcode, head over to a page, and paste the shortcode, click Update, and view the page on the front end. Now we have a complete registration form that's ready to go. Users can now visit your page and enter their information to register with your site. And I want to point out here that the name and email address field are pre-filled uh, by default when you are logged in. If we were to log out and refresh the page, then WordPress would not know who we are, and then uh, these fields would look like that. So logged out, name and email address will not be pre-populated, and when we're logged in, WordPress knows who we are, and so it automatically fills in the name and email address. And this is covered in depth in, in previous videos, so you can check that out for more information. But for now, let's go back to USP Forms, and let's say that we want to customize this form. We can either customize this form directly, or we can copy the contents and add them to a new registration form by pasting the uh, demo form contents into a new form, now we are ready to go for customizing a new form. Uh, keep in mind that this right here, the title of the form, will not be seen by anyone on the front end, so feel free to be as descriptive as needed so that you can identify your forms quickly and easily. So now let's customize this form a little bit. Let's delete the description, and let's say that we don't need the custom fields. We'll cover the custom fields in a future video, but for now, let's just say we don't uh, need those. And then we click uh, Publish. Now we have a custom uh, registration form, so we return here. And because the form is published, we can copy the short code, head over to our page, replace the short code, update, and then refresh the page and we see now a much simpler user registration form that users can use. So, what if we want to build a registration form from scratch, uh, starting from zero? Well, we can do that uh, by following the tutorial provided at Plugin Planet. We go to the search field and type in USP Make Registration Form, or something similar to that should get you there. Here is the result, make a registration form tutorial. So to create a new form, we follow these steps. First, it says to include the email and name field in the form. So these are required for registration. We could either copy these or we can use the quick tags. So let's create a new form from scratch. We type in new registration form from scratch. And again, nobody will see this except for us. So we need to make sure that we add the 
email and name field because those are required for any registration form. So we click on name and we can customize any of these options or we can just use the default values by clicking OK. And we also need an email field and then we return to the tutorial and see step two, the required hidden field, we copy that and paste it into place. At this point we're done. We've just created a user registration form and of course this form is very simple. It only collects the username and email. So let's see how it works. We can publish the form and then grab it, grab the form shortcode, head over to a page, paste the form into play, or paste the shortcode into place, and now let's refresh the page. Here is our simple user registration form ready to go. Now, going back to the tutorial, we see that we may also want to add some additional fields. And these fields can be anything that we would like to add um, for this tutorial. These two fields are provided to give you a, an idea. So we go back to our new form from scratch and let's add those fields. We've just added a URL field and a CAPTCHA field. And adding a CAPTCHA field is a good idea because it helps to reduce the number of spam registrations. So now that we have the URL and CAPTCHA field, we click Update and return to our page. And we see the URL and uh, anti-spam field included in the form, ready to go. So that's all there is to it. And again, if we wanted to, we could use the quick tag to add these fields. Where is it? There it is, USP URL. We could customize these or use the default values. And the cap likewise with the CAPTCHA form, we can use the quick tag. And there it is right there. And now we click update and we see that it's the same, same results. So a quick note about required true. This attribute right here can be removed if the field is required because required is the default value. So we can clean things up like so and click update. And now all of these fields will be required. It's also fine to leave the required attribute in place. Whoops, I can't type again today. So required true is the same as is the same as omitting the required attribute. That is the same as that. So let's go ahead and add the required true to each of these fields. And USP CAPTCHA is always required. It uh, can't be optional. Otherwise there's no point in including it. So we'll leave that like that. And those, click update, and we see that the form is still looking good. Now let's say we wanted to make the URL optional. Remember, name and email are required for registration as explained in step one. We need to have the name and email fields in the form. So, but for the URL field, that is not required, so we can set that to be optional if we would like. And it really depends on what, you're, what you need to do. We can also add other attributes uh, to get a list of those, we can go to Plugin Planet and scroll down to USP Pro in the sidebar here and click on Shortcodes. And here we have a complete shortcode reference that includes all of the attributes that can be used for any shortcode. So we could add a, a class placeholder label to the URL field and so forth and likewise for other fields. So. With that, we are pretty much done with this tutorial. We have created a new registration form from scratch. We have duplicated and customized a form, and we have used the user registration demo to get started quickly. And again, the custom fields we will cover in a future video. Um, for more information right away, we can return to the tutorial, and it explains uh, in depth here of what the custom fields are doing and how they work. So, and there's also other information that you can 
uh, get from the tutorial that I uh, don't really have time for in the video. So check this out and look to a future video for more information about adding custom fields. And that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.